okay so in this question we do have a toroidal magnetic structure and it is asked us to find the magnetic flux phi uh, established in the series magnetic circuit that you can see here so we're looking for phi okay so what do we have we have l that is the length of the flux line so what is l l is actually the circumference of this toroidal um, structure right so you can see here that we have this radius available and you will see that this radius is pointing to the middle line over here do you remember that i mentioned we are taking the um, mean of the flux lines so this is the mean of it it's in between the outer circle and the inner circle okay so if I want to find that, that would be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 0 0.08. And that would give me 0 0.50265 meter. Okay. Then what I need to find in order to find the uh, phi, we know that phi is equal to the MMF over the reluctance. And MMF is equal to number of turns multiplied by I over, again, the reluctance. We do have I available here. So we have the current available. We have the number of turns available. What we don't have available is the reluctance. So I need to find the reluctance first. And then uh, I can put it in this equation in order to find the phi, the magnetic flux. So let's find the reluctance together. So the reluctance is equal to the length that we already found over mu multiplied by cross-sectional area, okay? So L is 0 0.50265 meter over, now, mu that we're using, we know that mu is equal to the relative permeability of the material multiplied by the permeability of the air okay so in this question whenever you have such a question that you need to have the relative permeability of a material I'm going to give them to you um, in the exam okay except the relative permeability of the air so relative permeability of the air is always 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 okay so here, mu r, the relative permeability of a cast steel is equal to 1,000. This multiplied by the relative permeability, by the permeability of the air. So it's 4 pi multiplied by 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by the cross-sectional area of this structure. So you can see here, we have the cross-sectional area as 0 0.009 square meter. So 0 0.009, and this will give us 4.44 4 multiplied by 10 to the 4 amp turns per Weber. Okay, now, now that I have the reluctance, I can substitute in this equation, so phi is equal to N, which is 100, multiplied by what is the current that we're using is 2 amps over the reluctance. And the reluctance is 4.44 multiplied by 10 to the 4. And that is giving us 0 0.0045 Weber. So this is the magnetic flux, okay? So this was the whole, um, actually, analysis of this question but this is just a note that I want to give you so for example let's say that in the exam uh, I give you several questions for the electromagnetic uh, part okay and I give you several magnetic structures in each of them I may actually put the name of the material that we're using so for example cast steel for example cast iron 
okay? And then in a table, I'm going to give you the relative permeability of each of these materials. So you should be able to look up the material yourself in the table and find the relative permeability, okay? That was a note that I want to give you. All right, so I hope you understood this problem, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.